Hey, I knew I'd find you here. Wait, where are you going? No, just hold on a second. I just need to talk to you. Hey, hold on a second. Jeez. Fine, if you want to play it like that. We're talking. You know, it's very rude to walk away from someone while they're talking. Just in general. But I'm your best friend. That adds some injury to the insult. Hey, look at me. Why are you being so cold? No, uh, we're talking about this. No, I know. Yeah. I'm sure you're very busy. I mean, you've been too busy to accept any of my calls. Or texts. Not even a good morning. Not even a how are you doing. You know, I could have been dead. And you probably would have found out through the school announcements. That's messed up. Like, are we even friends? Don't look at me like that. I said, are we friends? Yeah, we're friends. We're best friends. Unless there's something you aren't telling me. Is there? No. Cool. Then why have you been blowing me off? Nobody is that busy. Okay, you make time for friends. I... <laughs> there is no way you were that busy. So, care to try again? Why have you been ignoring me? You haven't? <laughs> Why are you lying to me right now? When you know that I already know everything. I don't ask questions I don't know the answers to. I think you would have picked that up in our many years of friendship. So, I want you to say, with your own words, why you have been ignoring me. <laughs> you are so stubborn. Here, I'll tell you why you've been ignoring me. Excuse me? No, it's not. I think I know why. I know why. And don't you dare correct me when I'm speaking to you. You've been ignoring me. Because you have a new friend group. You think I haven't noticed? Oh, I have. <sighs> you know, it's funny, because a month ago, we were talking about how much we hated them. And now you're just... following them around. Like some kind of lost puppy. <laughs> really? To everyone else, you look pathetic. And I hope you realize that. Why are you hanging out with them instead of me? 
Yeah, because they're cool. Oh, they're so cool. Couldn't have anything to do with the fact that they're popular. Could it? Or that your crush is in that group. No? There's nothing to do with it? Yeah. You can say that, but the look on your face tells me everything I need to know. See, I'm just disappointed because I thought you were better than this. I mean, I understand anybody else doing this to me, but I thought you were special. I thought that you were a good person or something that doesn't ditch friends the second that obviously so much better person comes along, right? Because they're so much better than me. You think so. <laughs> no, you think so. You just couldn't wait to get away from me. What was I, some stepping stone? <laughs> Something you use then throw away. Kleenex? Apparently. You know what? No. I'm not letting you treat me like this. You're my friend. I've known you for years. We've been friends for years. Okay? We're soulmates. I won't let you throw me away. Everyone else can do that, but you. Okay? So. I will be seeing you for our weekly sleepover tonight. It's a movie night. And I found a really good movie that I think you'll like. I know you'll like it. So. Bring your pajamas, okay? What time are you going to come over? You're busy tonight. What are you busy with? No, tell me. You better tell me right now. Are you kidding? You want to go out to the movies with them? Hmm? Oh, you've already bought the ticket. Then when you bought the ticket, did it say that it was Friday on that ticket? When you made your plans, did they say we're going to go to the movies on a Friday? They must have, right? <laughs> so, nowhere in the process of making these plans did you not realize that Friday is our day. Every week for the past four years, we've had a sleepover. We've watched a movie, we've popped popcorn, and then you slept over. We've done sleepovers regardless of everything. Of sickness, of groundings, of family deaths. We've had this sleepover every Friday for four years. So it's not like you could have forgotten that today is Friday, our day. That means that you knew when you made these plans. And you still went with it. And you weren't even going to tell me. 
that's not cool. And that really hurts my feelings. So, to make it up to me, you're going to be picking up candy on your way. Okay. You know what kind I like. No, you're not going to that movie. You're not. Because I said so. That's why not. Wow. Okay. <laughs> then why don't I tell your parents about what really happened last summer? Oh, yeah. There's that look in your eye. Yeah, no, I said I wouldn't tell anyone. In fact, you can even construe it as I promised. I wouldn't tell anyone. But you promised four years ago that you would be at my house every Friday for a sleepover. So I guess we're breaking promises today, huh? Oh, no. No, don't start crying. I don't care. You did this to yourself. And really? You should be apologizing. You should be apologizing to me that I have to make myself into some kind of a monster to force you to be a good friend. <laughs> I don't have any sympathy for you. So you can wrap up the waterworks, okay? Good. Make sure you're on time, okay? Good. I'll see you tonight.